<laughs> I totally lost my train of thought. <sighs> Oh, yeah. This week's podcast is brought to you by shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den, where you get all your gentleman's den merch. Once again, shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. Shirts, hats, all that wonderful <coughs> shenaniganery. You're going to be all right. Frankie's going <laughs> to die. And with that, I'm with the show. I thought you quit smoking. It's the afternoon. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. To the gentlemen, man. Jeff, Frankie, Sean, and Kayla's back in the yeah, den yeah. tonight. I wish all the listeners Folks, could see how, how stupid doing? your face looks. They can. We have a video. <laughs> yeah, but we already established. What's we'll stupid start? about it? You just How's my volumes? Stupid. Am I good? Yeah, Maybe you sound good. Check this I just can't take it. <laughs> no, you're good. What's wrong with it? I don't know. On TV, you look all good and beautiful like a movie star. But when I look at you, you look stupid. That's great. Honey, how do I look stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's going to be on my side. She doesn't have a choice. At least you get to go home. She has to sleep with me tonight. <laughs> she's got to wake up next to that. Yeah. She's got to wake up next to that stupid face, that hey, stupid honey. mustache. It's, I know, that mustache. It looks so good on TV, but in no, it's like, it's the real ends. life, you just look stupid it's to me. It's the end. It's, it's right yes. here that throws me off, and I don't like it. I love it, though, but it's stupid. The beard's coming back. It'll be back oh. before you know it. Yeah, and then the mustache just will just, oh. just a real thick mustache. The mustache will disappear okay. into, into the, the beard. Bush. Yeah, exactly. You do have, like, an iconic mustache, so the, like a the bush. Kurt Russell <laughs> type of iconic thickness to your... Kurt Russell. Did Kurt Russell have a mustache? Yeah. I'm sure he has in a few movies. Hold on. He's in um The Eight uh The Hateful Eight. Yeah, the Hateful Eight. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, but he's yeah. got like a handlebar. Crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He has Super one of those, hard handlebar. Like your mustache looks very it, iconically. It's something good. for out of the movie Tombstone. But your face also looks He looks, looks like stupid. Doc Holliday. Yeah. Yeah, it Doc does. Holiday. I'd be your Huckleberry. Actually, yeah, right Huckleberry. now, he looks like Doc Holliday right before he died at tuberculosis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurting, bro. That's what I'm saying. Hell. It just drives me nuts. I feel like in real life, I don't look that bad. But then on like a picture or video, I look stupid. I hate it. Some people just take a picture, and they're so photogenic, you just want to right. punch them yep. in the face. Yeah, that's you. Pictures. I want to punch you in the no. face. I yes, like I do. shit and everything. You All can the time. really see like the dark circles in my eyes, and I'm just never look it tan de- enough. You have dark <laughs> circles? It depends, yeah. it depends on how drunk you are. In you all got honesty, dark circles, bro. We have pictures where you look normal, and then you can tell <laughs> Jeff was hammered because his eyes What's just sink into his fucking head. <laughs> like when someone just got bit by a zombie and they're just starting to change. Right. <laughs> they get pale as fuck. They're like at the 12th hour. Those raccoon eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, it's the magic hour. I'm just about to go night-night for the last time and become I, reborn I as a zombie. I feel like very few people, though, think they actually look good in photos. Yeah, probably. Uh... Well, not according to with all these goddamn filters now. Yeah, everyone looks good in pictures now. Everyone's got a filter. It fucking if I use the filter, I bet I look good. How do you treat? You can't trust these. You know what? I this has got to be. It's the new angle. This can't be from my own brain. This has to come from somebody else. But if you were to go on a first date with one of these like Tinder chicks or something with all this makeup and shit, the best for first date to do. Take her swimming. No, no, because they, no, no. Because all that shit sprays. washes off. There are sprays. What is it? Stays on. You're telling me the hairspray in their face. Probably yeah, pretty much. You know, know what I'm saying? So I mean, the clown yeah. mask will stay on for 12 to 14 hours. That's fucking True. crazy. They just spackle it on. Now. You just got to go to a place where like you could be like. I don't know. Is there a place to go pillow fight? It's how, face sharpie, really. Can how you do you feel? Much? How do you feel, hon? That all, all these girls are like, this guy was, he was so nice, but he was really a dick and blah, blah, blah. And they say guys are like, you know, play the game and all this shit. But like, there's so much. I don't even, we don't even know what the hell you guys look like until <laughs> like three months in. <laughs> like we can get pulled into a police department and they would ask like, who's your girlfriend? Uh, if she doesn't have uh, <laughs> Well, I just fire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to get me in trouble, aren't you? I feel like a lot of girls just look the same now like 
You got the well, same. They, the they same all filters. draw their eyebrows <laughs> on. So Everybody. they're all perfect. We all got fake eyelashes, fake lips. They just... I don't hang out with those types of I don't, girls, though. I don't get the fake the lip realness. thing. I don't get why your lips need to look like you sucked on a fucking exhaust pipe for fucking <laughs> Look at these big, hours. beautiful lips. All natural. Natural, baby. Power of my authority all comes from these big, beautiful things. That bottom lip. I'm saying you can't, bottom lip. You can't know, chug your shit. <laughs> Can't you? I can show you how to chug. His mother. soup gets so cool. <laughs> you got them soup coolers. <laughs> he just put his in. <laughs> Best soup man. coolers in the Gifted. business, bro. <sighs> Telling you what. <laughs> no, I. You know, you know, I was I was watching fucking movies, and when you watch like movies, older movies, like from the '90s or the early 2000s, all the girls, it was all racks and flat asses. Oh yeah. Now it's all asses and a cups. It's it reversed, it yeah. Rever- it's. I just don't understand. I'm what is freaking so funny? on. I am freaking on. Do you guys not hear the hoverboard? Oh, I hear the hoverboard. <laughs> like it's <laughs> wind blowing through my head right now, and I am way too fucked up to be dealing with this. <laughs> I'm over here like trying to keep it together. Like, I, yeah, I thought someone was outside blowing <laughs> snow. To be honest with you, <laughs> just out there with the, no. just out there with the fucking leaf blower. I was like, is there a snow? ghost behind no, me or my something? My daughter's up there I'm doing figure eights. <laughs> We gotta we gotta pad them wheels better. <laughs> it's Something's just it sounds on. like it's in my There's head. So much going so on right now outside uh, yeah. the garage. Like they're blowing snow. Blowing yeah, we're snow, in, we're and there's a bobcat out there. We're beep, in the middle of beep. a pretty gnarly snowstorm. Yep. Your daughter six hours ago said she was tired. And here we are. And here we are here in the figure eights yeah, and she hoverboard and she outlasted it. A fourth wind. That's what I do. So there's some days if I were to come home from work and just lay down, I could oh, pass, I could go sure. to sleep and not wake up till the morning. Yeah. But then once I get past that point, then I can't fucking. I'm laying in bed at midnight right. staring at Fuck. the fucking ceiling. Can right. I please no, go he to stares bed? at his phone. Oh, the that's the, the that's, YouTube vortex. That oh, is that. Oh, that oh, there I get the death scroll going. My thumb just starts going like this. Yeah, but look at that funny video we watched today with the guy trying to put his sweatpants on as a sweatshirt. <laughs> that's I go that's the comedy gold I find. No, you don't. Uh, Digging through the deep YouTube vortex. I, I, and Russia scares the shit out of me. I feel like I could totally see that happening to me. Those are great videos. Your puke sweater? Your puke sweater is oh. like 3-0. and oh. <laughs> well, all right, you want to so talk about your magical puke I'd sweater? like for you to explain it to me because a lot of times I don't really remember. Well, the bottom line is Frankie has a sweater no matter where he brings it or who has it on. Someone it's pukes on. <laughs> Whether it's him or somebody else. Okay, and it's the one with the stripes, right? Yep. The white one? Yep. It's, uh, it's like the... Uh, uh, it must be the pattern. It just it's the pattern, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's I like, love it's that like the sweater. brown note. I love that <laughs> yeah, sweater, exactly. by the way. It's the brown note. It makes you shit your pants when you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Refresh so. me. I'm trying to think of all the different times. I feel like there Austin, are a lot of times. Yeah, you Austin grew up at in Jeff's, it. Austin at Jeff's yeah. per, 30th. 30th. You're 30th. Austin, okay. Puking all over. It did you get on me. In you it. puked in it. At the beer pong. In it. Oh, see, I don't really remember that night. Like Someone wore that. A sweater after I puked all yeah. over it all night. Yeah, and then someone put and it slept out. in yes. it, and they slept in it, and woke up in the morning. Fuck yeah, dude! All right, that's bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really don't remember that night. beer pong tournament. And then so you guys were hammered by the time I got there. And then I'm pretty sure, sure it was a, early. a lady was it Jade? Yeah, could have been. Yeah, hundred percent. Shout Jade. out to Jade. Oh god, <laughs> puking like a champ. I don't. Think she or was it Misty? It. I think Who she's knows? The one that put it on. <laughs> Between those Did two, did Jade wear the puke Jade covers? I think she wore that hoodie. I, I, I think she's I the one slept in my car. Yeah, Jade's not a puker. Oh, no, I, I puke. Beg to differ. <laughs> when did she puke last? New Year's. Did she? Yes. Really? Oh, she was. New but, Year's was pretty I mean, rough. Everybody, we were all hammered. Was that yeah. was that <laughs> the night or was that in the morning when she woke up hungover? Uh, no, it had. I think it was. I, well, I mean, we all went to bed in the morning, so. Yeah, it was like three o'clock. My 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 alarm clock was going off on my phone at three o'clock in the morning. When you're up and going to bed, I really don't remember that work. night either. Fuck. I don't know. Oh, I, who poured these shots? I did. I've been waiting to take them. You ready? Have Let's you? Go. Someone I else handed it. I've been staring at him like, no. No, Let's do it. Come on. No. Someone handed it to him. I'm not touching it. I've already spilled like two tonight. All right. While we're doing this, Sean can pull up the uh, Florida fuckery. 
Florida fuckery this week comes from January 5th of this year. Cheers, first bud. one Cheers. of the year. And the headline is Naked Man Bites Dog. <laughs> yes, in Florida. And yes, please say there was meth involved. No way. <laughs> you don't say. So here we go. Oh God, that was you don't even need to say meth was involved when it involves Florida. Donald Watts. It used to be cocaine for sure. Now, now it's meth. So police say sure. that Watts fled when a deputy attempted to detain him. He punched the, the deputy reportedly. A fair amount of tasing ensued to no <laughs> effect. <laughs> Didn't Cops, this, this guy is a superhero. Yeah, shit. Co- Cops yeah. then yeah. deploy a canine officer named Casper, at, <laughs> which, <laughs> at which point the report states, that Watts got on his hands and knees and began to growl like a dog. When <laughs> yeah, Cas- you gotta scare the dog off. When Casper was ordered to nab Watts, Watts leaped and grabbed Casper by the head and bit the ca- and bit Casper's ear as he drove Casper to the ground. Per the report, Casper eventually escaped <laughs> <laughs> and bit Watts's head. <laughs> <laughs> The charges were simple battery of a law enforcement officer, which is the copy punch, <coughs> resisting arrest with violence. Oh, he bit the dog, too. Yeah, that's but that's... Officer. And then, yeah, then a, a gra- a, aggravated battery of a service dog. Service dog's a person. So this dude, you, <laughs> this dude got high on meth, got naked Ooh. in his neighbor's yard, was partying by himself, and attacked a police dog. What compels you? To do meth? Uh, boredom? <laughs> no, I actually have been asking this question for like seriously like 15, 20 years. But like, I just don't understand how those conversations come up. I know people go through t- rough times and dark times and this and that. But like, hey, dude, I got you. Right. Like, oh, wow, what a good friend. But like, come back to this, come back to my lair. But like, how does that conversation like ensue? Like, where someone comes up and they're just like, hey, man, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> you want to ruin your life? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it goes? Or? No, but they, you know, like, I mean, these are the type of people. It's not like they just all of a sudden aren't doing drugs. And then no, no. They, so they, they know. They they some they've meth. moved they, up. They keep yeah. doing drugs, and they just want that high. They're it chasing starts the high. They're chasing the dragon. Yeah, so they go to a dealer for something, and like maybe he ain't got it, but he needs his fix. And then that's probably how you just spiral down to that. Level. Well, that's that's the that's Nick Swartz and Joker. Did you ever hear the Nick Swartz and Joker? He's talking about he's in there in Tijuana, and he's like, his buddy's trying to buy one joint from a drug dealer. The bad idea. He's like, one joint is what he's asking for. <laughs> Just and, the and, one. And he goes, the drug dealer goes, no, but I got heroin. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> that's a completely <laughs> different night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's uh, what I'm saying, I'm though. I'm just going to go for it. I just don't get how, like, when saying, someone agrees, like, though, like, Friday night, you want to maybe get together and, you know, we could do some meth or, dude, I got that, I or got heroin. That. You you try for heroin? We'll do heroin. I got a new spoon I want to try out. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then for someone, though, to agree and be this like, light bulb. that sounds like a great idea. Friday night, say seven? Yeah, but when you and your friend have been sitting there sniffing coke and... I don't popping even know how that comes pills, about. Popping as many pills as you can find. Yeah, when you're when you're trust me, I've been asked. Them. I've been asked millions of times. You want to do some coke? No. How much Adderall did you do? Um. <laughs> see now, I, I've done Adderall, but I do feel like I never. It ne- that is it never because it was start- a prescription? Right. That was never <laughs> really. Hor- no, 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 no. But that that was never really like. Someone just offered to me it to party. It was I started doing that when I was in college for personal training and during finals, and someone offered it to me and I tried it. And ever since then, I escalated and drank on it like an idiot, and had some you know wild nights. Don't don't agree with it. Don't get me wrong, but like I've never been to, that, like inclined where someone asked me like, "Hey, bro, you want to do this line or whatever?" And I'm like, "No, yeah." I'm basically, out. that's the equivalent of when Kenny Powers knocked the coke into the garbage can. They crushed up the Adderall and snorted that instead. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. No, I know what you're saying. It's this. It's one. It's one molecule off of being the same exact thing. Well, yeah. I mean, cocaine and, and heroin were actual drugs back in the day, back in the we, 1910s. We, we've had this conversation. I understand, but I'm just saying, like. I just don't understand how the days nowadays, like that conversation, just comes up like nonchalantly, right? Or people that are just. So I think it, it, to it's obvious. Well, they say you know there's gateway drugs. I think it's true in a sense where you start off maybe with, you know, more expensive shit, and then you don't even got the funds for it, so then you just slowly deteriorate, deteriorate, deteriorate down the weight. fucking 
down the list of shit. All the deteriorating. Till you define. It's it's one of those ones, like Kayla says, it's chasing the dragon. It's, oh, that high was good, but this high is supposed to be better, so I'm going to try this one. It's You're trying to mm. one-up the high on each one. Just like, I mean, when I was eating fucking oxies like they were Pez when I was in my 20s living in Racine, it wasn't because I was like, oh, this is awesome. No, it was because I was like, I was getting dope sick in the morning. Yeah. After You, you know, needed your buddy. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I, I was fucking selling cars. Worst fucking business to be in if you're a fucking addict. <laughs> yeah, I, I would agree with that. I see that all day. The salesmen. The salesmen are just fucking horrible people. <laughs> that just always goes hand in hand. Like sales and drugs go. Priests and kids and yeah. coke and cars. <laughs> Pill, pills and cars. I want to go fast. I guess. Come on, baby. Woo, let's check out this next uh, 2003 uh, Saturn Sable. I want to get a weekend rider. I, I don't know if I said this, but uh, one of the guys I worked with passed away and it, that worked at From the dealership? Yeah, from the dealership. Bob. Rest in peace, Bob Kaufman. Dude was awesome. He made me. Bob was one of those guys that didn't need to sell cars. He was just there to make a little extra money. He had a bunch of other fucking side hustles. And he would make me go buy up like copies of Outlaw Biker. <laughs> like, <laughs> like He'd be like, oh, I'll finish that sale for you. Just go buy me a copy of Outlaw Biker and I'll give you the whole sale. I don't even know what that is. Outlaw Biker was just a motorcycle magazine. He wasn't even a <laughs> and he wasn't even a biker. He's like he just liked he looking at the feel like that that seems Outlaw like a Biker. Cool dude. So I was sitting at the shop the other day and I don't remember the dude's name. What shop? My dad's shop. Redline Cycles. Yeah. Kenosha, Ooh. Wisconsin. Holla. So we're sitting there and he was talking to his buddy and he's like, Oh, you remember so and so? And he's like, Yeah, what about him? He's like, So you know how he was part of like the outlaw gang, you know, bike gang. And uh his buddy's like, yeah, what about him? He goes, so there was like this thing on TV where they have like the FBI's looking for all these outlaw gang members down in Florida. And he goes, and lo and behold, in the background, you know, they got everybody's pictures up on the bulletin board. He goes, there he is, right on the <laughs> fucking bulletin so board. So he's in Florida? Yeah, he ran. He's in jail. He's in prison now. But that, I, I don't get gangs, man. No, I don't. I don't, I don't understand this area and everybody wanting to be a fucking biker. I get it. You Open watched roads, man. You, you watched fucking Sons of Anarchy. I get it. You want to be part of a family. So my my favorite. So that's the thing, though, is the difference. And I get like you know I don't believe in gangs and stuff too. I think that's pretty weak. But like I think that's the difference of a, a, a team, a, a group of people that have a common goal that they work for together. Being a team. Look at that. Thank See, you. that's, now, that's fucking what, teamwork. That's a relationship. The like, relationship, yep, yeah, that's pretty close. Well, there used I, to be times where me and Jeff would look at each other and we know what we, you know what I mean? We're on the same page. You guys still do. Don't act like that doesn't so, happen. I understand, but <laughs> what I'm saying right. is, <laughs> what do most bikers want to be? They're what? Anti-establishment, tough. tough guys. Tough. Not, no, I have to. There's different groups, though. I like, you can get the that, older though. guys that, right. like, they do the gold wing thing and then... You well, got thought, a group that, like a point. BMW group, but I, you're well, talking about like I'm talking about the gang, the guys who want to yeah. like. Like act, I said, the Sons you know, of Anarchy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the, I, what you we would think the common goal of a biker would be to ride all day, be free, not have to work, and live the dream and party every day. That's a biker, right? Sure. I mean. No, but you know I get what, what you're but saying. But you, you yeah. can see how like a biker is supposed to have that image. Well, yeah, because you know, live free or die, or ride free. Yeah, or die. so you don't right. want you don't want to work behind the desk all day. You know, you got some boss who's right. calling you. You want to drink shit. and ride. Hey, Tommy, can you get win. this uh, paperwork done uh, by tomorrow? Otherwise, you're gonna have to come in Saturday. Right. But I ride on Saturday, Bob. But yeah, no, I that's don't give not a it. Fuck. <laughs> These guys are like, oh, I gotta sell drugs and, and hustle and right. rob and steal so I can just ride and not work. No, but what what makes me uh -huh. laugh about the whole biker aspect is. You're, you're a nonconformist. You don't want to conform. You, you know, you don't want to be... Right. right. You all wear the same shit. You're conforming to the group's <laughs> fucking standard. That's why the name of the group is called Outlaws. Rebels. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying anything bad about the Outlaws because I don't feel like getting shot this week. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, want to do that either. No, and I've met... And that's... Like, I, I have met a wide variety of I bet they were sweethearts and, to like, you. Biker, uh, no, I actually have a story about one time that one was not. 
Oh. Are we gonna hear it? Or? You can. Where were you not to step up, bitch? He, no. he wasn't there. <laughs> I was out at a bar um, in town back home. You know, starting trouble, I'm sure. And um, there's a club right. And her next mom door. got scared. There's a Started club right trouble. next door to the bar, <laughs> and so all the club members came over to the bar, and me and my like friends were there, and this old guy, like he could have been my grandpa old started hitting on us and so it got to the point where i was like dude like you're drunk as shit you could be my grandpa at this point like just like, i just don't believe you have call call i feel like kayla would be like get fucked oh, old man like no, i was nice to him but then their president came up and he was like you know you're being a real fucking bitch your dad would pay me to fuck you and i was like really and so i pulled the daddy card i said do you know who my dad is oh um, jesus yeah he's like who fucks your dad and so i told him and he looked at me he's like oh and i said yeah i suggest you shut the fuck up <laughs> like i <laughs> i can't and it's and it's and it's not that your dad is like a badass it's just no but he is he's, it's he's the, it's not a, yeah he's not but between my grandfather yeah. and the people they know yeah you just don't. That's that's the difference. It's though. basically the time family. It's money basically, and, it's you know basically I mean? the scene from uh, Bronx Tale when right. it comes to Kayla's side of the family. I still feel like a biker gang. They locked the door. It's supposed the to be more of a team. Like, and I have I've definitely met like biker gangs that that's what they are. Right. They have a goal. Well, that's what they said people. in Fast and Furious. They don't call themselves. A, 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 it's always team. coming back to the greatest they movie of all time. Family. Fast They're and family. the Furious. They're family. Like, yeah. They're but, a team. Like I. But I'm every team family's got bullshit. a fucking shithead. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Oh, God, yeah. Every team, every team, God, every family's yeah. got a fucking asshole. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we do. And the problem is, is you're ours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at it though. Fair. I'm good at it though. <laughs> but see, you play it well. But see, I'm the asshole that can fight. They have the guys in their teams that are the loud mouth. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Shit that's, talkers. That's me. I can talk shit very loudly. I hated those dudes that you know when we we're you were like twenty one, twenty two, and you go to the bars and, you and your friend just starts friend. talking shit, and he's like, "Hey, we're gonna fight these guys." I'm like, "Who are you?" Who is? Now just got me. me to do that. No. Yeah, I'm like, no. babe, babe, we're fighting them. Babe, Come watch on. this guy. Yeah, no, you're He's sitting on this chick. I'm gonna go over there. I'm like, oh no, please, <laughs> please don't go over there. Right, I'm not. I'm not trying to fight. Uh, Frankie uh, actually gets friendly fire when it comes to fights. Sometimes I am to I the actually age. clock Frankie in the mouth once. Oh, no. I have. I'm to the age got, where some guy could call me a fucking backhand next to him. He caught a backhand on accident. He was he was too close. You're too close. Fight started. Was who sucker punched me? Go, going Whose back, foot was that? Going back to when you know, dude head butted other dude. Who was the guy talking the most shit? Yeah, no, that was great. That was awesome. He gets headbutted in the face. Call the cops! Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> the dude talking to the most shit. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. And then once he gets popped, brother, brother, brother call the cops. I love that the cops anymore. show up though, and they're like, "Hey, you guys are at these people's campsite, so um, it's technically your fault. So get out of here." Yeah, trespassing, bro. Yeah, they're like, "Why do you hit me?" I got this site for the whole weekend. Yeah, you kind of got in my face and threatened me. You're gonna kick my ass. I was fearful. Yeah, he still got a ticket for headbutting the guy because yeah, because he kind of splattered just, his nose miss, all over his face. I miss like the actual like. You and I don't like each other. We're just gonna kick each other's asses and then it's all over. Yeah, right. Don't the call gentleman. The cops. Yeah, don't call the shake cops, hands just afterwards. Kick each other's asses and it's that done. That shit hasn't been like that in years. Like you probably could have got your ass kicked that one time and deserved it, but <laughs> what? Let's be more specific, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and you almost blew up all those people. Oh. <laughs> that sounds oh, awful. Yeah. Can we please clarify what this happened? This was the reason why the guy got headbutt in the face is because Jeff launched a mortar right over their fucking campsite. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff's Jeff's oh rocket launcher God. cock, and he's lucky he's not like a fucking Unit. Jason yeah. Pierre Paul. He was holding one of those things over and fucking shooting it and shooting, and he shot it over the next tree and thunk. Yeah, he had a low angle shot. It blew up right over their campsite. Yeah, so I technically started it. Like thirty people came rolling up. They on were us. fine. Yeah, no, no one got hurt. hurt. I would have been livid though if I was in that campsite. I would have been that. Then person you would have got head butted too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, game on. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it was it was a almost resolved situation until one dumb chick opened her mouth. And yeah. Just crawled out of the back seat of your car. <laughs> Shut up. Covered in jizz. <laughs> it was I only one flare. I know. I seriously couldn't believe that she said that. 
I was like instantly like, oh my god. And then everyone was, Frankie, you control your girlfriend. Like, <laughs> it's not my sure girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Will you go put your dick back in I her mouth? I wish Sean said something around that line. You I wasn't there. Cock back or? I wasn't there. Really? I wasn't there. Because I... That, no, that was Zimmer... Oh, okay. That was Zimmer, man. All right. If I was there... Big the he- The headbutt wouldn't have happened because I would have been the first guy in line. Yeah, no. It was... It was... I was being real nice, offering him beer bunks. You're yeah, like, sure you were. Like, but you were like that annoying, like Jeff's the hey, sour man, patch like, kid. I yeah, I was, be, I was yeah. Like, being a smart ass for sure. Yeah, together. Jeff's the sour patch kid. First they're sour. Oh, wow, I wonder where Then they're sweet. I was sweet. Yeah. Trying to just I'm to the age. Ways. I ain't fucking around anymore. I don't get right. bar fight. I'm not getting stabbed or shot over. I'm just for I'm, someone scuffing your pubis. Yeah. <laughs> I'm roadhouse in it and just ripping throats and then. See, that's my thought process. Right. I don't, get I don't fight for bar. I'm telling you. I never you. hit a woman, but I was very <laughs> close one time at this bar we went to. We're sitting down. The bar is full. But See, and now I would hit her. We are up you. at the bar, sitting there on stools, and these two girls like are like we can tell they're trying to get to the front to try and get a drink. So me and my buddy stand up so they could you know get to the bar, order a drink, and leave. They sit in our chairs. <laughs> And just kept sitting in our chairs and sitting in our chairs, ordered drinks, just sat there, kept sitting in our chairs. They had no intentions of getting up. No. <laughs> they just fucking, they, they're like, Gee, those, my seat. You know how nice those guys are? They just gave us their like, seat. Wow. That's how, that's how hot we are. That's how the podcast got named. Gentleman's Den. Because chivalry's not dead, ladies. No, it's not. It don't might don't be, look at it. Don't it look might it. be, but hey, ladies I killed have, it, Kayla. I Let's have, be honest here, yeah. honey. I, I don't, Come don't on, baby. Get me started on Come here. on, baby. I will go right back to it. <laughs> Chivalry is no, dead, don't and you that motherfuckers killed it. No. <laughs> Dave Chappelle said it best. Yeah. No, 100%. Ladies, yes. Chivalry is dead, and you motherfuckers killed it. It's fucking true. It you, open a door, you open a door for a woman now? They look at you like you're a fucking sex offender. Oh, see, yeah. I am openly. I'm like, oh my god, thank you. I seen probably yeah. one of the worst and best memes of all time the other day. So all this stuff's been happening with Iran. So there's a line of soldiers at the airport in uniform, and it says Tinder's about to be lit. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, it's true. Oh, I saw that. Well, Ooh, that's the, that the, is it's fucking bad. It's true, bad. dude. The picture of the chick. Standing yes. next to her boyfriend, and then the next shot is her in the same exact outfit, On the doing porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the world it's we live up. in. Yeah, it's a fucked up world, all of it. But like you said, I'm the fucking creep. If I walk up to a girl and I'm like, "Hey, you want to maybe go out sometime?" and "Ew, get away from me." Physical conversation. How what dare are you, you doing? Do you see that guy just walk up to me and ask me out? <laughs> Fucking weirdo. He's supposed to creep on Facebook for at least a week. Right. Like, and send me <laughs> and then send your DMs, send nudes. <laughs> yeah. People look at me like I'm an asshole when I'm like, if I'm walking into the grocery store, like bringing my cart back and I see someone else walking, I'm like, oh, I'll take that for you. And they're. Take my cart? I'm like, dude, I'm just putting it back inside. You could Then you could turn around and go to your cart. I'm saving you 10 <laughs> steps. Like you're stealing People your are, cart. Yeah. People are just so weird. Can you believe it? Interaction that? of actual. It's because of technology. And right. They're all so busy doing this that when they finally interact nothing's with ever somebody like face to face. face. Yeah. Right. Nothing's like, ever the face to you? face. Like you hold the door, you say excuse me, you get looked at like a fucking piece of shit now. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a different it's world. Sad. We went to the, the gas station and the boys held the door open for some people. Yeah, and as the, they the guy looked at me and raising them right. That's right. Damn right. I go off when I go to the store and like somebody does not hold the door for me or somebody else. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, no, thanks. Thanks for that. Thanks for holding the door. Ask Got me. it. Well, no, or I've done it where, you know, you don't know the person's behind you and you close the door mm-hmm. or the door closes and they open it up. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I yeah. didn't realize you were behind me. I'll, I'll apologize for that. Right. But don't look at me like I'm an asshole if I don't know I think I'm gonna change. fucking behind I'm me. just going to start, like, I'm going to close the door and someone looks at me and be like, what, bro? Get fucked, all right? <laughs> and you're going to get punched directly in the face probably or stabbed. Not. See, it's like when you're driving I doubt and you it. check Someone your probably would be like, butt. whoa, bro, so, like, chill out. Oh, nah. God. Uh, don't, don't. Bah. It's like when you're turning I'll lanes, you check your blind spot. That's what I do when I open a door. Check my blind spot. Anyone else is coming. Well, that's... Okay, spy. Ooh, Always be aware. If, if you're work, oh, you got like, when, when you used to work in the factory, 
you, did you have doors like regular doors, solid steel doors that you had to walk in? They had a yeah. lot of doors. Yeah. It was a door. Yeah, factory. it was a door factory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about in the actual building. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, there's doors everywhere. <laughs> okay, how, how do you open that door? You stand to the side where the wall's here, the door's here, and it opens this way, right? You stand out of the way, clear the way of the door. So you, if someone's behind it or you're, someone's going to open it, you're not going to get hit with it. Right. Every day at work, we have this old guy that he just he stands in the middle of the fucking door. So you open the door and it smacks him. Every well, f- bro, get I'm out like, the way. I'm like, dude. You know what you should do? Get uh, get some masking tape and put a fucking they have it. on the floor. They have the squared off area. Like, <laughs> Don't stand here, yeah. Bob. You know, I always feel like the, those, those I feel what movie it is now, and I know you're going to tell me right away. It's not a good time, Bob. Like, I would just for sure be like, like every time I hit him with the door, instead of saying sorry, I'd be like, not a good place to See, stand, Bob. I feel like it should like, be mandatory that people are like, um, servers, bartenders are waiting. 100%. Because, like, I know that when I'm super busy, I kick the fucking door open. Yeah. Because I, I don't have hands to open it, so I kick it open. Yeah. This. You stand clear of the Sparta. door. You learn. You just stand well, clear of the door. In a lot of restaurants, they don't have the the glass in the door so you don't see out so right. you're, that it's it's hit or miss you're either gonna eat that fucking door <laughs> i hate when oh, restaurants I have. why do you set your restaurant up this way they have the swinging doors mm-hmm. like right where the bathroom is yeah there's mm-hmm. just constant traffic don't you think you have the swinging doors like on the other side or it's just how the layouts the are in bathroom it's just mm-hmm. how the layouts are and most how restaurants wow. are designed i wish it's that there was one door would only swing one way got like enough. you only enter on the right side enter that's what you're only. supposed to do but right, people are fucking that. assholes but they just need to make the doors so they're not double swing and it just swings one way well that was when i was working at texas roadhouse the manager was down i was working in the meat cooler cutting meat and he was down picking up like potatoes or something, and I have a pan of blood. And he looked basically. up at you and said, "Oh, no. what a lovely tea party!" I look out, so I yeah. look out, I look out the fucking window. I don't see anything, so I kick the door open. His head was right. <laughs> <laughs> I knocked him out with the door. Just oh fuck! Whoops. Whap! Hulu. He goes to stand up, and he does the fucking <laughs> "Don't play with matches." <laughs> I hit him, baby deer deer legs. legs. Yeah. Oh, I hit him so I felt so goddamn bad. But oh, I was like, shit. "Why are you laying on the fucking floor in front of the cooler, you hey, bro. douche?" How about yes. that raise while you're coming back? To yeah. <laughs> you did agree. Now's the time to ask for a raise. Yeah. Huh? When what? The, when the Tweety Birds you, are you sign this quick? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Turn this into corporate. <laughs> oh yeah. Holding doors, chivalry. Hold doors, chivalry. Hold door. Hold door. Oh. oh. C2E2 is in February. February. I'm down. Okay. Full Wait, what happened? I'm sorry. I just... The, fr- the Chicago uh oh. You're still going as Beast, oh. right? <laughs> you said you were. I got a bunch of blue paint. You got some paint. blue paint? <laughs> <laughs> spray paint. <laughs> you be a blue for a <laughs> oh fucking my God. month. Don't, please don't spray paint him. <laughs> either that or, either that or I'm going to look like a giant Smurf. Either one is fine, I think. We need to get, like, a short friend. You guys can go as, like, Master Blaster. (laughs) (laughs) I need a midget. (laughs) You need a little person in a helmet. So you going as Wolverine? Is that what's happening? I don't know, bro. I'm we not, have a fan we're boat. not dressing in anything. What do you mean <laughs> we have to dress go. up? You have to dress. Yes. You get in for free if you dress up. Who should he be? No, you I don't. Like you have a <laughs> I feel like you just gave me a real weird look. I can see your eyes through those glasses. I know. I don't know where my other ones are. You can really see them? I can. <clears throat> yeah. They're open right now. They this are is open. Crazy. I'm very fucked up. Wide open. It's because the light is shining through the back of them so we can see your eyes. Yes. Do I have Gizmo blinking eyes? Uh, answer my question. Are you going as Gizmo? Gizmo right on the fucking Am I going as Gizmo? There. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's going to... A shirt that don't fit. Walk on his knees and... How dare you? It's a schmedium. It, they couldn't find sleeves? a smaller Look shirt. Look at your sleeves. How high are your sleeves? It's because it's... Yeah, point on sign. It's an old shirt. I got this <laughs> big, massive body. Well, oh, yeah. Well, Mr. Peacock. <laughs> the saying. peacock chest. Get Look the at this. Fuck out of here. There was a picture earlier where I'm Bullshit. standing next to Sean. Sean looks like just a little tiny man. Because I was leaning me. back in the chair. <laughs> No, You're but it is dope. crazy because you did look tiny. Yeah, I'm just I'm just For massive once. in size. I feel so I feel I'm, so insignificant. I'm very thick. You are wide. I am very wide. I don't See, know. when I get Mostly fat, in the when I get fat, it's my stomach that grows out. You, go, you just your hips just widen. My hips. You are get so your birthing bad. hips. 
<laughs> Kayla's just like everything. Everything just sit all I don't know how, but my hair gets wet. It just falls. <laughs> 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 What were you, you going to say, I, Oh, God. When? Yeah. You're like, I got something. Oh, we were talking about chivalry oh, and all the kinds no, of stuff. Oh, no. I know. We were talking about, co- like, I don't know, people. You know when we go up to, like, turn? I was going to ask you guys. <laughs> people when we turn? Me. I'm way too fucked up for how this started. All right, so go when ahead. when we come left. out from the gas Sorry station, you know, when you go up to turn on, like, 12. The blue yeah. gas right? station. Yeah, sure. Tell them where so, we live. The blue gas station. That's all. Google it. The blue gas station. Off of 12. Um, so you know how you can go across 12 and go left, mm-hmm. or you can go right. There you go. So when you go left, don't be afraid of that. I always, I know it's thing. just so just beautiful. Just get close to it. Um, like when you go to cross over, <laughs> this is so drawn out. I'm sorry. Do you go to the this left? This is like one of my sisters' right? Like jokes. when you get into the middle, like the median area, you know, when you're yeah. going to cross over, do you go to the left? Like I go to the left so that the people turning this way don't like have to cross you here yes. let's get the supers out let's make a diagram <laughs> no, I, get it. I get it but what she's let's technically doing is she's of- driving on the wrong side of the road in all honesty i just wait till there's no cars coming logic. from that other side and just go i, I go just, halfway out i don't give a fuck you send it yeah and then you creep i do what you do i get in the left the left side i got side. on the left side yeah. so that these people can turn and i'm not blocking them but every time i do that they look at me like i'm some fucking asshole yeah no. But I'm not in their way, so I in all reality, Well, the reason you're not supposed to do that is if you are turning left and you are sitting there, like, kind of in front of them to the left, you can't see oncoming traffic from but the I, other side of the median. But I can. You can. They, they can. can't. You're blocking their... Um, That's why they're supposed to go... Technically, they're supposed to go... I'll pass you and around you so that when they're coming this see, way, that, they can see oncoming traffic. Start. I think that's stupid. Yeah, no, you, Maybe. you're the fault of accidents starting, going on the wrong side of the road. I understand the logically what you're saying, but yes. I still do. I still do the the way you do it. I do it the way you 100%, do it. hundred percent. I do it sometimes too, yeah. Legally, no. It's not supposed to be that way. Right. No. I pull up far enough it's so the, that It's they like can the see. logical Maybe. way is what you're saying, and I get it. Yeah. People do do it. Right. Everybody's in such a hurry, so I figure if I get Hold over on, there, then you camera. can see. It's, it's like, so, so like if you were, oh, I can't do it. It's got to no. be your ball. over it. It's, it's got to be your like, ball. Like here's, Kayla, do it. I can't, what? You can't do it. You got to. You need more I hands. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, like, so median, right? Here's the median, and we're going to go this way. You're turning left for yes, the listeners. Yes, I'm going this way. <laughs> And so the people coming from this way. Oh my God! This is just a gif in the making right here. <laughs> Click at air traffic controller. <laughs> Where's the plane way? headed? <laughs> what runway are we going on? It's a new day. I don't want to block them. I don't want to cross them. What's so like <laughs> median, right? And instead of doing this, grab the cars. Huh? Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this fucking <laughs> right. All right. After the podcast, we're gonna have a oh bonus God. tutorial <laughs> on how to properly. <laughs> into your lane. I can't turn left. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I'm never turning right. left again. I'm just going to make right hand turn. Okay, so I'm just going to make another right. It's going to take you so long to get places. Yeah, I know. yeah, well. Speaking of gas stations, oh, have you no. ever been, have you ever felt so like unsure about something? Can you like name it? Yes. Every like time what? I come here. You're just unsure about it? <laughs> Every time. I wake up in the morning. I'm very unsure. You're unpredictable. I get it. I'm, yeah, I get fly off the handle at any moment. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> I have never been more unsure about anything. This happens to me all the time, but I really thought about it the other day because like, I was like, either I'm getting old or this is just totally fucking with my brain. No, I, you are. I park at the gas station. Oh. I get out. I look at the pump, number five. I start walking. I get about 10 feet. What was it? Number five. I get to the door. I check it again. Number five. All right. Give it a second. Rule of three. Then I go in. And, and you uh, look out the window? Can I get 20 on the uh, pump? Uh, uh, right there. That's my car. Five, the green one. <laughs> yeah, that's pump five. 20 bucks on five? Do you guys, how many times do you guys check what pump you're at? Oh, God, yeah. At least four. Uh, so at least four. It has to be. If I'm not using my card right there. Right. Oh, God, yeah. I used to always go inside and prepay, but now I just fill my tank every time. And I, I need other shit. Card. I get it. Well, not you too much to. anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, no. This is our first smokeless podcast. I'm very, smokeless Very proud podcast. of you guys right now. I haven't had a cigarette since last week. 
Yeah, Tuesday was <sighs> my last day. Saturday I watched Jeff eat a full 16-inch pizza, just rolled it up like a joint and just ate it. Didn't no, 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 stand no, no, a fucking no, no, no. chance. No. You guys want to enter the stone zone for a minute? Yeah, let's... So I'm cruising Hold through. on. Wait, I got to enter it's it now. It's stone zone zone. I stone, stone zone zone. I like zone, this. Zone zone. Frankie, stone zones right up your alley. Stone zone. Are you in the are you in the fields right now? I thought I was. Are you ready? I want him to stop humming in my ears. <laughs> I want to like make sweet Either I want to make or have someone do the science on this. This is what happens in the <laughs> truck oh, while Jesus I'm driving. Christ. Now, <laughs> a lot of time by himself. What is the perfect <sighs> temperature to keep the proper I don't even know what to call it. Um, Use it in a complete sentence. God, I can't. Just pay. This is a stone it's, zone. It's just bear it with me zone. now. Okay? I'm trying to this follow. This isn't going to come out properly. Are you just talking to a stone guy? Okay, I either I need. I, we, we need to figure out something. What is the proper temperature to securely and properly keep the texture of a milkshake accurate? Ooh. You put it in a fridge and it turns watery. Yeah. You, you put, put it in, in a freezer, freezer and it turns into some weird okay, hard so putty. Like the <laughs> fridge is usually set at what? Like 32? What's no, the temperature freezer. that that's I could freezer. put a milkshake <laughs> in that in that little device way for a week? I and wanna, when I go, it'll. I can stir I feel like it. I not far off. I don't so think there's I want to say, say like. I don't want to find that balance. Can someone please. Four degrees. Stop. Everything freezes at 32 degrees. Mm-hmm. Copy. 30. So it can't be. I so it's got to be, like, be like 34 degrees. Like I said, at 34 degrees, it might be. Wouldn't it start this. melting, though? Wouldn't no. it get watery? No, because it would so. still be cold enough. What's the machine God, at? God, we got to try <laughs> this. So, no, this is the thing. When you're making a milkshake, we need to try it's this. ice cream with milk <laughs> blended. <laughs> right. It's, like, uh, it's yeah. ready to serve at that point. Yeah, but Soft it's serve. only at a pro, at that point it's ready to so serve. So that's it. Then your food. Yeah, after that serving point. Stone zone. Zone zone. zone, zone, zone. Stone zone. zone. That's why I don't eat leftovers. <laughs> okay, right? so I don't eat leftovers for a reason. That's your only shot at a good milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> after that, after, after that, mixture of milk and ice. Fifteen minutes and right away. Fuck, boom. You got a 15 minute window, bro. Yeah, with I really milkshakes. Think, I really think we should go it's get one and 34. we're going to put it at We should go degrees. get one. Look at 34? Yeah. 34. Set the fridge at 34. It'd be the what freezer. about everything well, else that's going to melt? Oh. Well, well I'd use this freezer when the only thing that's going to melt. Yeah, we got that. Right here. Oh, that freezer. We could set the freezer <laughs> down here. I was thinking the chest freezer we no. used to have. No. Yeah, no, there's no. a freezer <laughs> attached to your fridge. I always hated, like, I didn't finish the milkshake, so I put it in the freezer. And then you'd have to like, you're like, fuck, I want that milkshake. And it gets weird, like, but you couldn't weird, have it. Cause it's no. You couldn't break. have it quite yet. Yeah. No, it gets like that weird, like icy, slushy. Yeah, it's not a right. It. Yeah, it's not right. It's, it's not like right. if you were to like. I want a slushy. Just thought out pudding. <laughs> oh. It's like, I just want oh. that milkshake, but it's not quite ready yet. No, I, I understand what you're saying. It's just Steak it's and like 34. I just thought, is there like a perfect where you could just put it in there for a week and it would just stay exactly the same? What's you, the you temperature? Weirdo. Well, if you've been drinking out of it and your saliva's been in it, you should not save it. That's gross. It's oh. gross. It's really gross. But if you got like a what deal, like buy one, get one free, and you wanted well, to I'm save the free it, one? If I'm, let's keep in the stone zone. If I'm sucking? sucking it through he's a sucking straw. It when he's sucking if it. I'm sucking it through a straw. There should be no back. Sucking my saliva back into my mouth. Can we bring that back when I'm sucking it? I'm sucking it. <laughs> when I'm sucking it. So when I'm sucking it. Here's a good experiment. Loop do you it. want to find out what your significant other thinks about you? Just talk like they do. Do an impression of them. Oh, this yeah, is your good. impressions are fucking magical. I so, want to see your impressions. So the way are guys do impressions <laughs> of girls is always bitchy and naggy yeah. and the way girls do impressions of men Ooh. is stupid and so slow. stupid and stone. Just <laughs> Hey. You did, I did one of you the other day. Boop. Why don't you go in there and see what's in the cabinet? <laughs> see, yes. now that's bitchy and bossy. Now that's you, exactly how I sound. Just you like did an that. impression of me. Go ahead. You remember? What is, oh, but, babe, what? but babe, I just don't understand. Like, why are you so upset? Like I said, I love you. <laughs> Now you sound like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> well, that was babe. spot on, but that is what you sound like <laughs> fucking stupid you to match your face. The other, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, she, wow. I'm just saying, I'm, I have to look over at him. Look at him right now with the mustache. 
But he's I love him. So the other the day, this is you're like, face. <laughs> look at me, I can't wear the cheese. And I'm just like, babe, how dare you? Where I don't sound and like that. I don't you? sound like that. No, you sound like a whiny bitch right now. Stop it. I think your impressions were spot on of each other. Fuck. <laughs> so if you really want to know what your significant other thinks about you, impressions? Have, him do an, have him or her do an impression. So, so like charades is probably not a game for game night of the week. <laughs> no. So Frankie, no. are you really going to grow a mullet? Yes. Yeah, Dude. I am. Oh. I am in the process. See, uh, you're gonna you're gonna talk about Jeff's stupid mustache. I'm gonna look <laughs> stupid with you. I already look stupid though. It's different. <laughs> I was different. this face. I was born with this it. Is, just, it's just the dumb. I already face. look. See, stupid. I made myself stupid. <laughs> yeah, he just well, he's, he's trying stupid. to work at it and look well, stupid. The, and he's doing a good Franco, job. The Franco roast with the uh, president of Hollywood. He was born with a crippling addiction <laughs> called dumb face. <laughs> I got it. In pictures, I can't look in a camera. I don't even know where it is. Half the time, I'm looking over here. Yeah, your eyes. I hate wide. when there's like five people taking pictures. Right. <laughs> Which ones? What do first. I look at? <laughs> you look at the middle one. Always. Is that what you do? I guess. Always. Because the, the one's one. right here, it's not going to look any different. If you look at all of Kayla's group pictures, Kayla's never looking at the camera. Never. No. Ever. I just look at the moon. <laughs> all of her friends are looking a different direction than Kayla is. <laughs> I don't want to be like, it's like them. It's like you I'm see, like, fuck you, all, camera over there. They're all facing this way, Kayla's like... <laughs> over here. I do feel like I've seen a couple of those on the fridge. It's all the time. Still, yeah. It's all the time. <laughs> like, even, um, even the old pictures, that, like, when she was real young, everybody's looking this way, Kayla's like, angled oh. looking this way. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like looking at cameras. They like steal your soul. Right. Yeah. Take his take captures. Well, like so, Possibly. at um, my friend's bridal shower, we all took photos, and I was she like, okay, it. as long as like she feels comfortable, I don't care what I look like. Like it's her photos, whatever. But there were so many girls that looked at them, and they're like, no, can we retake it? And then they're all like, just so like worried about where they're looking you're and fine, how they you're look. You're fine with the first take. And I'm like, time. I don't really give a shit. They're not my pictures. Yeah, I'm, you're they're just, her you're pictures. In they're not mine. I'm just in them. So, well, as long as she's happy with the picture, then I don't give a shit. I'm my, good with my, the first take. My favorite, oh. yeah, but you got to post any, it on of oh, any no. wedding picture that's ever taken is the one of the people jumping all at the same time. I hate those. And yeah, and they, I love when they Photoshop like the bigger people. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, like I couldn't tell you I, whose wedding it was, but I remember doing uh, a bunch of pictures where we were like running from so something dumb. and oh. like they photoshop shit and put like a dinosaur in there that's awesome at a wedding like, we were running for yeah we like brought we were, a dinosaur to a wedding no like the pictures like we were like running like everyone was like did you really think i thought there's a real dinosaur there i hate those cheesy yeah. photos though what the fuck is super imposed yeah they fucking we, super I've, I've me. <laughs> you know what other ones i hate too are like the the ones where they uh like the bride's got a bottle of Jack Daniels. And Why do you look so tiny over there? He does look Who, very me? tiny. Yeah, you look tiny. Look how big I am. After this. You're closer, you dummy. Go. I have to have you watch this the Halsey video. This table is a straight table. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tiny. So the stone zone was what to temperature, temperature. to keep a milkshake at. Can we figure this out, please? I think it's 34 <laughs> degrees. We've agreed. All right, so we're, we're going to gonna do an experiment. It. Spearmint? No, I like wintergreen. Spearmint. How dare you? <laughs> I said it's. I said it's. Experiment. Experiment. Just a spearmint? No, I like wintergreen. Spearmint. <laughs> we're gonna do some spearmint. <laughs> Can everyone leave the lab, please? We're gonna do some spearmint. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm just gonna eat I my would milkshake get the fuck while right you guys out of that do lab. this. You're gonna eat your milkshake? Do you eat it or drink it? Use a straw. Oh, no. I don't know. Back in the stone zone. Stone zone. Blah, 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 stone zone. I don't know. Do you use a spoon or a straw? I, use a straw. I really don't <laughs> chew it. So you but, do, but do you chew oatmeal? I don't eat oatmeal. But I'm just saying. Ill. Yeah. Ill. Some, the consistency. Yeah, it's yeah. just mush. I would do gag. You chew ice it. cream? No. Kinda. Uh, kinda. You could if you want. Like if it's like it. if it's like Rocky Road or something. If it's like DQ soft serve, nah, I ain't chewing that. But if it's like. Frankie, can you explain to the folks what your order usually is when you go to the Dairy Queen? Because it is fucking tremendous. 
Mm. I get a, 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 a large a large dip cone. I don't get like yeah, I like and variety. then a blizzard. I like well, I like I also I've like got, banana splits sometimes too. He's there. got and cheese then, curds, chicken strips. <laughs> but the <laughs> cheese hey, but they're the chicken for. strips. They're chicken strips. I need to buy. Phenomenal. Right, I want to buy a DQ. I'm Food or ice cream. Take your pill. One's got to be done. All Why of it. Why isn't the ice cream a all nice after meal snack? A I nice little all. treat to Frankie, reward Frankie yourself. Frankie gets a cherry dip cone so, yeah, for a fucking dip. appetizer. Because you're trying to dip your chicken strips cherry dip in the barbecue sauce and the ice cream is dripping down your fucking hand. You're I like, do you like to get like the Snickers <laughs> or the Milky Way or Butterfinger <laughs> blizzards? I do like banana splits <laughs> with all strawberry toppings with no nuts and extra whipped cream. So when you order I a blizzard, like they're like, what kind of blizzard? No, all of them. Just in his mouth. Ass. Just in his mouth. Right here. Apparently not. So on when on they, your chin? Mm-hmm. In and around. Mm, when that. you order a blizzard and they're like, what kind? You're like, all of them. <laughs> all of it. Put cookie I'll dough in it. there. Oh, I want so the good. Oreo cookies in there. The I remember Reese's, there was a place, too. Um, the M&M's. Cold Stone, where you can make your own ice cream. Stone I Cold Creamery. Like no. See, but it was like, I like I like just soft serve ice cream. That's Me what, too. Like, it was like a cake ice cream. Yeah. It wasn't bad, but I just The difference is, thick. it's not it's more of a just. Custard. Theirs was a custard, yeah. 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 Right, and it's not just like hard, hard served ice cream, I guess, because it's not soft, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back. Back in the same zone. zone. Did we ever zone leave? Zone. Did we I don't ever, I don't ever leave. <laughs> so, if you have like Did you eat that ice cream with a spoon, for sure? That's a spoon ice cream. No, that a, is. On a cone. The custard. Well, oh, they oh, mix yeah. it. Custard ice cream when, with a cone. When you're at Cold Stone, they yeah. mix yeah, you it. Yeah, you own bowl. So you're kind of giving friction to your ice cream, and I feel like you're melting it a little bit. Well, they, they do they it. They sit there and they like mix it with... Do you want to know why it's called Cold Stone? Because they put your ice cream on a, a cold, cold stone, stone. <laughs> and then mix the shit together. But it's still friction wise. Can we making add like, graphics and videos oh. now and just put like an explosion? Just my brain <laughs> splattered all over the ceiling. Well, put and here's a helmet a, next time. Here's a PSA. You want to get that ice cream out of that frozen little box you got in your freezer? Just run that hot water right over that ice cream scooper for about 15 seconds. Yep. Or you can get Ooh. one of the fancy ones Stick that you it hold the electric and it gets ones? the heat from your hand. Those don't it. work. Get the they electric ones. Do. No, they do. But running it under hot water and then... <laughs> that only works for so let long. Me, let what me let you in on a tip. And then you put it back under the hot water, honey. Let me let me let you in on something here. You ready? Yeah. We're, gonna, we're going back in the stone zone. Uh, zone, right zone, zone. All you zone, need to do zone, zone. is get a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> and, and take all you need and brother. take the five gallon bucket of ice cream and go sit in your basement and then you know could you i do? fill up a cup of hot water and bring it with so i can dip my spoon in the hot water ice cream will just come right out i guess float your own boat there's you know? nothing worse you know how many spoons I've bent? <laughs> oh, <laughs> trying, God to, damn it. trying to scoop ice cream. You're up. Two o'clock in the morning. Yes. <laughs> Two o'clock in the morning. You're hammered, drunk. You're saying, "I just want to scoop of ice cream." <laughs> just one <Bam>. scoop. <laughs> And you got a 90 degree angle spoon in your hand. Don't it's worry. like the secret zombie bite because someone else is going to snap it yeah. later on. What'd yeah. you do? <laughs> <laughs> Knowing goddamn well you bent that spoon the night before. I have, I have two or three spoons in my fucking collection of spoons that are fucking like S curved. Yeah, you can totally tell they were the ice cream spoons. You're just like, fuck, bend it back. So now I purposely, if I, I know that's going to happen, I have soup spoons. Like the, the the rounder top spoon spoons, but they're Whiter. fucking hard as f- like I can run them over my truck. They it's won't stockier, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, you jam that fucker in there, and you're just chiseling chunks of ice cream out. It's like half the fucking carton. We I, used to have the one too with the scooper, and then yeah, had push the, the button, <laughs> yeah, and the wiper blade would yep. come across. Yes. yes. <laughs> we have a metal one that's about yay big, and the scooper is about the size of How my hand. How big for our listeners? How big is that's it? It's like a foot. Oh, that's a 12 incher. And it's solid metal, and it's got like a <laughs> five inch. Head on it. How much? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't ever bend this. Does it vibrate thing. too? Jesus! <laughs> this this is like the Cadillac. Like. This is the Cadillac ice cream scoopers. So, so that's one scoop per bowl. What'd you name it? Oh no! That I have like a three scoop. Something that big has to have a name. Oh, it's Betsy. <laughs> it's big Betsy. Betsy the ice cream bruiser. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I don't fight with no container. They don't want. They don't want that wrap. Oh, like I don't want that okay. smoke. So here's the question. None of that smoke. 
If you get Neapolitan ice cream, what flavor lasts the longest? First, I need to know what Neapolitan <laughs> ice cream pink is. Strawberry. <laughs> is that what it is? Well, someone explain it's the chocolate, thing. strawberry, vanilla. All three of those. In yep. the same box. Strawberry is always the last. Fuck yeah. No one. Not. Why vanilla not is at my house, man. The chocolate and strawberry are always gone quick. Really? Yeah. The Do they make one with just the two? No. What? It's called no, a that twist. That wouldn't be Neapolitan ice cream. Man. I know. Yes. But what what would that be called? The twist? Why is it what? called it's Neapolitan? Separated. Vanilla and chocolate? That yeah, is the twist. Yeah, why is it called it's Neapolitan? It's the twist. I don't know, man. Why is it called Rocky Road? But it's Rocky not twisted. Road? It's in two we separate Googling blocks. Like why is it Neapolitan? I don't know. And I what? bet you that's the dude that said. And I want to Neapolitan see mean three flavors in French? <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I also want to see how they put that into a box. Yeah. How do they get that into a box? Welcome back to the Stone Zone. How do they separate leave. those flavors so perfectly? So oh, yeah, so there's like cardboard in between, and then questions. right before it's about to freeze, they pull them out. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you could literally, you could, I'm not you gonna be able to cut, sleep at night. During you could cut stop that stop vanilla it. square out of there perfectly, right. and there's no strawberry on the one side. It's just no. vanilla on the other side. Strawberry. How do they do it? Be. This it's, is some dark magic. I'm telling the you, the dark arts. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to sleep here. at night. The hell's going on? The questions Jesus in my head. Christ. Lady's looking it up right now. I people are people it. are just blowing. Minds are getting blown. This is tonight. educational. It's right. Oh. Oh. How's it done, hon? I don't know how it's done yet. I am looking that up. I did find these cute little puppies. <laughs> <It was named>. <laughs> <laughs> there are really cute puppies. Look no. at squirrel. Um, it was named in the late 19th century as a reflection of its presumed origins in the cuisine of the Italian city of Naples. Napo- oh, so Naples. It's Naples. So, Napoli. So, wait, real quick, Napoli. before we continue to talk about ice cream, do you guys have ice cream? <laughs> Yeah, we uh, have uh, Sour Patch Kid ice cream. I'm sorry. Oh, what? Sour Patch Kid ice cream. That sounds right. Horrible. I hate sour. <laughs> we don't eat it. The kids don't even uh, eat it. Right. <laughs> they seen the box and we're like, <laughs> I, want, I it. want it. That's like getting one of them it. SpongeBob fucking <laughs> <laughs> ice cream kids. <laughs> what all those weird eyes? Eyes. <laughs> <It's fucking laughs> <laughs> one's looking at me, the other one's looking at the ice cream man. Like, don't let me go. <laughs> Do you remember back in the day the, the WWF ice cream bars? They had the, it was like a cookie on one side, chocolate back, vanilla ice cream in the middle, and it had a press of one of the wrestlers on it. Yeah. Good humor is bringing them back. Oh, in ice cream God. sandwich, ice cream okay. sandwich form. Sean's buying so many. Hang on. All day. All so, day, son. John Cena's getting his head bit off. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, but I'm you can't see my mind. You can't see that ice cream sandwich. Go ahead. <laughs> Pipes from each tank, so each tank yeah. has each flavor. Yeah. Meet in a large rectangular nozzle, which is the same shape and size as the short side of the old-fashioned two-liter cardboard ice cream container. Oh, so the nozzle it has two burst. dividers, thus separating the three flavors yes. of ice cream, drops down to the bottom of the box, and fills it with three bands before moving it on to the next box. Does oh. anyone else feel like she's had like a teacher's voice explaining that? Because I stopped listening like 10 seconds in for some reason, and I tried to catch back in. Because you're a dick. Because you're in the you stone zone. I'm well, just good thing this podcast zone. is recording, like your notes. I could go back. To <laughs> right. Yeah, and be yeah, like, yeah. All I know is you were right. I heard that part. So that's... I was right. They yanked the cardboard out. No, no. It's, no. It, it's a it's a three. Did you ever do a lot of reading in school? In Did I do a lot of reading? Yeah, like when you were called upon, were you the one that was like, "I'll bust out six paragraphs right Dude, here"? Dude, she perfectly. dropped out in third grade. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, what? Just kidding. I hated Pretty reading. Sure. I hated reading in class, knocks. but I was the one that like, I knew how to read, so I would read for <laughs> a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike Frankie, <laughs> I'm still trying to learn. I'm close. We are gonna have the spelling bee at one point. What was that? That's just gonna be no, a YouTube video. Rico video. chat. Yeah. Rico <laughs> chat. Rico <laughs> chat. That's all a lot of people say. It. No, it's ricochet. Coincidence? No, it's not. <laughs> coincidence. Coincidence. <laughs> Coincidence. The it's soldier's coincidence. shoulder. If you went on the shoulder's shoulder. <laughs> soldier's soldier shoulder. Shoulder. All right. Soldiers. Shoulder. <laughs> Boom, bitch. Got it. Nailed it. Shoulder, Free. shoulder. First try. Fucking A. <laughs> First try. Shoulder, shoulder. Coincidence that the sh- I can't do it. Coincidence. It's a coincidence. 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 You, you add an extra D in there. Co- it's coincidence. Co- 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 wince. Wince. I. There's a W Dince. in there. Dince. I don't know, but you just pronounce it that way. Coincidence. Oh my God! You did I do did it? it? Was that it? Yeah. It's coincidence. You just, you just lost it again. Coincidence. Not coincidence. There you go. Coincidence. Coincidence. 
Coincidence. Coincidence. Coin. Coin. Yeah, right. w. Here he comes. It's not coincidence. You just leave. Co-incidence. You just leave like but weird But I said things. it right. This is a real coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did it now. I say coincidence. This is a real rough way to start talking. Soldiers and shoulders. There we go. Maybe we should have learned how to talk before we started a podcast. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're just going to learn how to learn. I was always made language. fun of for the way that I say stupid. And everybody always said that it's because I had like, this weird ghetto stupid. accent. Stupid. Until they heard Rosie my Perez. mom. And it's the East Coast. My mom, right? Stupid. Yeah, East, East Coast. Coast. You just. East yeah. Coast, don't you know? <laughs> you just went. What? That's <laughs> There. You went middle, like we went yeah. to the Bears game. With, and oh, oh, oh girls, yeah. Oh, for yeah. sure, yeah. Don't you oh, know. Don't you know. Oh, All yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. It's like a weird mix because my mom's from the East Say Coast. Say stupid again. It's stupid. Stupid. It. Yeah. I don't have it. It's not. It's fine. Everybody's like, No, see, stupid. like, you got to say it like my Jeff's face looks name. stupid. Yeah, Jeff's face Some people got stupid. different stupid. shit. Stupid. Stupid. Joggins. Yeah, you got a deep. Joggins. You call them joggins, right? What? Sweatpants? Yeah, my joggins. What? I'm wearing joggins <laughs> right now. Those are sweatpants. They're joggins. They're <laughs> no, I'm wearing my joggins. Are you going to go jogging? I wear, yeah, I could jog in them. Do you wear joggins? Do you wear tennies or do you wear sneakers? Ooh. Or shoes. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Or all the yeah. tennis shoes. Mm, I don't play tennis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what are they called, if anything, though? I do. I think that my difference would be I'm either wearing shoes or I'm wearing basketball shoes or slides, flip flops, slippers. Those are the only things in my vocabulary for shoes. Tennies. Tennies. I've never fucking said tennies <laughs> no, or never thought in of my life. No, I. I just, I'm gonna start calling. Them I saw a, a Brazilian dude. He was like, I have to turn in my tennies and get new tennies. <laughs> and the guy that he's with is from Jersey. He's like, dude. They're called sneakers. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's no, the tennies, kicks, my tennies. Kicks. Who the fuck knows? Whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck, who the it's fuck? Whatever the fuck you want to call it. They call rubbers on my feet. I say fucking front room. So uh, and yeah. I fucking hate that. How dare you? you? Really, front room? Are you a yes. living? Are you a living room gal? She yeah. just doesn't understand it because she doesn't have a front room. The kids don't call a it a front room, but they know what I mean when I say it. I'm like, we go in the front room. Mean. We've come to terms. She with goes in the, the front room. I get it. You have a living room, though. You don't have a front room. I don't live in it. I don't I understand, it. though. It's a front. It, okay, you guys argue that it's like a front sitting room. Well, in Chicago, yeah. you have, like, you know, you walk up the stairs, you have a porch. Then you walk in, there's a front room. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then that connects usually down with the down, dining room. Yeah, yes. To the kitchen where there's another okay, living room Okay, but you don't call it a area. front room. I know. People in Chicago call it frunch for some fucking reason. And that's I always call it a front room. room. It's a front room. It's a yeah, front room. Yeah, it's joggers. Just like you guys in Wisconsin say, I need to go get money from the time machine. I said, it's that, what? I said no, the ATM. ATM. Right, but a lot of fucks say it time used to be, machine. Because it used to be called a time machine. I get K-Y-M-E. that. K-Y-M-E. But when people say that to me and I'm in the stone zone, <laughs> I want to like, tell them to get t- fucked. I'm going to tell a Is it a water Dude, fountain what? or a bubbler? A water fountain. Yes. A fountain. See? Yeah. That's what, yeah. No one ever calls it a bubbler. <laughs> <laughs> Video's over. Hold on. Stone Hold on, zone. Bell. We're almost done. <laughs> My daughter can hang out in here safely now. Right. Yeah, we're almost to the end here. No smoking. We don't smoke in here. Anymore. Trying to be healthier in 2020. We're getting it, bro. Lives. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Like I said, I'm proud of both of you fucks. It's about time I don't go home stinking like fucking 1986. I think more people are proud of you. Long time Everyone ago. knew I had willpower. Yes. Well, well, because Jeff just never stopped. No. Yeah, I never. Can't really. stop. Won't stop. All of a sudden, right. Jeff's going to be able to run a marathon. No way. I'll still outrun him with his Minshew mustache. Let's have, <laughs> let's have a 40. Let's do a. This, this spring we should do like a should we do the, the beer, beer in hand 40 uh, yes oh, yeah God. we'll do, we'll do like, a, a friendly competition this summer oh. we're gonna start we're gonna continue not smoking mm-hmm. we're gonna work out we're gonna get fit as a fiddle cardio he says it. He's the gonna shirt's work out. gonna fit again properly <laughs> <laughs> i don't know you've been working out this week no he no. has not been. i, I have a fucking week. membership that i can bring him to the gym with me and he refuses to go i didn't use any weights but i worked out a shit ton this week Jerking off is not a workout, Frankie. Yeah, it is. If your heart rate's say, increased. Two minutes of, yeah. <laughs> two exerting. minutes of really hard cardio. Yeah. Something exerting. Cardio. We can get into something about Why? masturbating next week. I got something special for everyone. Oh, oh. I can't wait to hear. Should I wear rubber? Great. <laughs> Should I wear a fucking, what was that? Juice. Yeah, wear your, raincoat. wear your raincoats, guys. It's juice. It's juice. 
Jizz. <laughs> Sweetheart, uh, you want to give me a refreshment? You can wait. With that being said, it comes to another end of our debauchery. For Jeff, for Frankie, for Kayla, I am Sean. Thank you once again for entering the Gentleman's Den. We'll see you again next week. Stone Zone. Thanks for coming, honey. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. <laughs> ASMR closing. Why this week's podcast was brought to you by shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den where you can get all your gentleman's den. Ooh. I think I'm ready. I'm going to try it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to like our podcast and want to support it, go check out shop.spreadshirt.com backsplash the <laughs> hyphen <laughs> <laughs> gentleman's hyphen den. I love you. <laughs> Until again. next week, I bid you adieu. It's a backslash. <laughs> backslash. Almost had it. Almost had it.